Welcome back to the Sort of Truth podcast, the alcohol-fueled chapter-by-chapter reread of the Sort of Truth series with a tin cup full of craft brew on the side. I'm Nate. And I'm Jaden. On this episode, we are putting chapter 42 on trial. Actually, we already did, and we just wanted to fill you in that we found it guilty of being a chapter in a book. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You know, just so you yeah, know. Yeah. yeah. No, it was, it was, it was, it was the good. proper was funny, thing to do. Right? <laughs> chapter in a book. <laughs> but before we do that, we wanted to tell you guys about the wonderful person who's sponsoring this episode. Our newest book friend, Maria. Now, Maria had been looking for something to listen to related to the Sort of Truth series, and she couldn't find anything. Which, if you all remember, was exactly the reason that we started this podcast and found all of you. Yeah. So, I mean, it worked out. And that was that was the point for the <laughs> for the person that's just like, I wish there was something. Here is a thing. Yeah. <laughs> and it's great. I just I love hearing those stories. She was like, I couldn't there's just jack shit out there. She found some some well, I won't give the name out on YouTube of people who just kind of bash the books. I know we've talked about those people before. So I was like, no, I, I hear you. But we're over here. See, the Cool thing... kids are over here listening to podcasts. <laughs> the thing I appreciate is uh, not only is it just something, but we've also had a lot of people say that they like it. So Yeah, well, so that's, cool. that's always a plus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we appreciate all of you and Maria. <laughs> that's right. Maria, thank you so much for being our new friend. And being a part of this community. So with that, I say we get into it. Yeah, I, th- I think we should. I do buy here a test too, and oh. hither such as bear witness. No, keep going. Yeah. This. Okay. Chapter in a book. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you have to do the rest of the the rest of the chapter like that. Like what, ma'am? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 Anyways, this chapter opens up with Verna still in her windowless cell or hospital room because she's in the infirmary. No, it's a cell, but <laughs> yeah, oh, she's definitely locked up. Yeah, desperately trying to get some answers by calling out and pounding on the door when her food is brought through to her, but the person doesn't fucking listen to her. The only answer is the sound of the deadbolt locking down the hallway. Yeah, she's getting no help at. Or I'm sorry. <clears throat> yeah, she's getting no help at all. <laughs> She's quite desperate. It, it's not good. It just, there's no windows. It's all black. It's very, like, I don't know. It takes you, what am I trying to say? It fucks with your head. Yeah. Being well, left in the dark like that. You can't keep track of days and nights. And she tries to with the food for a minute. But yeah. But they don't keep that consistent either. So the flap opens yeah. when the tray comes in and she's like, oh my God, there's life out there. And it, that's all she has. So yeah. she's got to be like, hey, who are you? What's going on? Beating on the door, hollering, trying to get somebody to talk to her and has not been successful. Yeah. It is not working. She is starving, maybe going a little nuts, like you said. She laughs, and I quote maniacally, <laughs> at the thought of finally getting the body that Jed would have liked. And then she gets sad because Warren actually cared about her, like not her body, her insides. Right. And... She hopes he's okay. Yeah, um, it was sad, but I don't, I don't know if that was supposed to actually show she's going nuts, like, or at least just being a prisoner. You know what I mean? Maybe not Verna as a whole, but yeah. that's a fucked up thing to be laughing at. Her outlook can't be very good right now. Well, I also she's think. Like, well, I'm finally gonna lose all that weight. <laughs> 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 wow okay that's maniacally <laughs> you know what i mean so yeah, just enough no, to make okay. you uncomfortable i just think at, <laughs> maybe that's a lot but at some point you've been there for a while you're by yourself and you're bored as shit so you have nobody else to joke around with i'd probably talk to myself a lot <laughs> yeah she cracked herself up good though yeah, those conversations you have in your head where you like go over conversation. Oh, I'd be doing so much of that shit here, and then I'd be <laughs> laughing at how clever I was. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, that's what I should have said to her. It would take you like three hours, I'd say tops, locked in a room with no windows before you were full on, um, like golem, and <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> 
they don't want us in the light. No, they don't. Yeah, I I like I like the light. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You, you, yeah, it would be very fast. I would not like that. No. Would not approve. And for the record, I will never do that to you. So, Good. Yeah. Good. I feel like that's a pretty low bar, but <laughs> able to clear it. So. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so this last meal that is brought to Verna is bigger than normal. The tin cup of water, there's a chunk of bread, but there's also a bowl of onion broth. And it's very- like a... Yeah. yeah, but it's like a fucking feast. She gets to like dip her her bread in it and make it all big and fluffy in her stomach, and she eats until she is full. Which is huge. I mean, you go from starving to full, and look, it it makes very clear that it's not a great meal. No, but to her, for apparently uh, as long as she's been in here, she's been on the verge of starving slash passing out. So. Just a little bit of soup and some bread, and she's like, "This is fucking awesome." Yeah, yeah. I mean, especially when you've just had the bread, and she's been trying to ration her water out. We know that, so she's only been like, you know, she hasn't been able to get like a good full meal in there. Right. It's just like dry bread all the time. That's not. Uh, yeah. No, that would that would not be great. One thing that this I don't know scene kind of reminded me of is in Transformers. When they're being questioned by the guys from Sector 7, it's either them or the FBI or something like that. But the, these two guys are in a uh, interrogation room and there's the plate full of cookies. And he's explaining to his buddy how, you know, they know you're guilty if you don't eat any of the cookies. Because <laughs> you're too guilty to eat. So he sits there and just crushes the whole plate. He lifts it and was like, see, whole plate. <laughs> Boom. Not, Not guilty. guilty. Yeah. And the second <laughs> they ask his buddy some questions, he's like, it's him. It was all him. Don't talk to him, a criminal. <laughs> that fucking cracked <laughs> me up. Spills right away. But Verna, she eats literally the whole plate, which according to Transformers means she's not guilty. Yeah. Well, that, and also she's been starving. So. Yeah. Or, yeah, she's just hungry. A little column A, a little column B. <laughs> Apparently, it was a good enough meal to sleep on, though, because when she wakes up, there's a blinding light, and it turns out to be a lantern held by Leoma, of all fucking people. um, Yeah. She's been rested, so Verna's first idea is to attack her, but she's paralyzed by the collar, which, of course. Yeah, you know, for a second, I almost forgot that she was wearing a collar, just because the whole introduction doesn't mention anything about it. She's just kind of in the room. She can't get out, so, okay, if she had use of the gift, she would be able to do something, I'm assuming, yeah. to get out. But you don't think about that. The last thing on my mind was her magic, but, yeah, she doesn't have it. But they literally feed her, and then they let her take a nap, and then they come in to fuck with her. Yeah. I'd be ready to scrap, too. Yeah, no, I don't blame her for it. Like, I'm take at your an chance, advantage right you know, now. whatever. I just had bread, bitch. But, I mean, go. even if you're not, like, I'd be pissed at this this woman anyway. So I'd be like, you know what? What, what do you have to lose, Just really, at this point? Turning the light on when it's dark. What the fuck are you doing? Get that away from me. Yeah. So Leoma came in to inform her that she's been held for two weeks while her trial took place. And she's been found guilty of being a sister of the dark. And they have proof. It's fucking legit. <laughs> I love how Verna, obviously, she's kind of like calling bullshit right off the bat but she's like oh what did you do what fuckery have you been up to yeah go ahead tell me what i did (laughs) this is gonna be good yeah uh it was very reminiscent of the the trial for kaylin where they were like oh yeah no you're the bad one and here's all the reason why and here's all the witnesses that we have oh yeah they had it all lined up yeah it was very much the same fucking thing (laughs) But the proof that they have is testimony from Ulysha, Toby, Cecilia, Armina, Nikki, and Marissa, who are all reinstated as Sisters of Light now. Oh, by the way. Yeah, because all that shit they did was no big deal, because they say a Sister of the Dark attacked them after Richard killed Liliana, because he's evil, and they ran for their lives. So they were just, you know... They were just running for their lives. It's, they were just they wrong, wrong place, wrong time, right. and they got the shit scared out of them because Richard killed somebody, and then, you know, they were attacked by Sister of the Dark. What were they to do? Yeah, and Richard and Verna also killed the prelate. Yeah. So, like, it wasn't Ulysha, not even a little bit, and there's more of them than there is of, you know, Verna. So, 
<laughs> yeah. That is what it is. She literally says that. Uh, there is more of them and there's less of me. So they got their way, basically, blah, blah. is what happened. Yeah. yeah. They also accused Verna of trying to dismantle the pop by cutting off gold for women impregnated by wizards. And that caused riots and eliminating the test of pain, preventing them from doing the creator's work. All the shit that she did that we talked about, like, that's all down the drain. Yeah, I mean, they focus on here the consequences of those things in the immediate. It's like the backlash to the backlash. Yeah. You know what I mean? So she cuts off gold for women who are impregnated by the wizards because they don't want the, the young wizards who are at the pop to just go fucking and breeding. Like, they don't actually want that. And they don't want the Palace of the Prophets to be paying for that. Yeah. Kind of like common sense in a way. Yeah. Now, obviously, assistance being one thing, this is a very extreme example of that. And no, they shouldn't be paying for that. Now, that causes riots because people are inherently lazy and they want free money. Mm -hmm. And this was all part of the plan. Yeah. That's what they're accusing her of. Plus... Yeah. You know, the, the test of pain. She tried to dismantle it all, yeah. Right. The test of pain. Now the, the young wizards can't prove their stuff and, like, go do the creator's work because they'll never be sure if they're ready. Yeah. And so she's just tearing it all down. The, the reason that the Palace of the Prophets is there, Verna has been saying, no, we're not doing that anymore. We're not doing that anymore. Getting in the way of tradition. Yeah. And they're not happy about it. Yeah. Well, and they're accusing it of being like a, a much larger conspiracy along with the creator to fuck everything over, which we know is not the case, right. obviously. All of this has been hearsay so far. All the shit that everybody else is saying. But they have actual proof in one final witness, Warren. I mean, is... Okay, so witness testimony is admissible as far as I know, but it's not like solid proof of something, is it? If I say you did it and you say I did it and we both went to court but nobody has any, you know, video or it didn't happen, then is it, like, I don't know. Well, yeah, no, I guess that's what they're saying. Like, um, Yulisha saying all of that, she didn't say even that she saw Verna do anything or even Richard, technically. She just said that they were scared and they ran off after Richard killed Liliana. Right. Well, and I think as far as Anne, they do say it, but don't, doesn't she say, like, you were the ones that found her? So you're obviously the people that, that killed her? Yeah, it may have been that. Not even that I saw you do it, just. Yeah, something along those lines. Circumstantially, yeah. you were there, so it's yeah, gotta yeah, be yeah. you. Yeah, well, and she ended up as prelate after, and so it's sus and all that. You know, it, it is all just hearsay, except Warren, because apparently her removing his Radahan and him giving the prophecy about the false prelate and the destruction of the pop. Which he's not supposed to do, because he would have still been in the collar. Right. And she was now the prelate, which means that she was the false prelate and a sister of the dark, because the prophecy was about a fr false prelate over ruling the destruction, and that's what right. she's doing. Right. So because Anne's gone, she was there, she discovered the body, oh, now she's prelate, and she's letting these young wizards out of the Radahan early, even though we know it's not early, because he totally earned that shit, and then he gives a prophecy like that, everything seems to be pointing at Verna being a sister of the dark. And then he left. And from the outside, like... We know because we're readers, but from the outside, from the people in the town, they hear all that shit and they're going to go, oh my God, she's fucking evil. Yeah, it probably doesn't look great to the people on the outside who don't know what's going, especially with a lot of people pushing against it. But Right, but I mean, everybody, everybody's going to have an opinion on yeah. it. It's just that there's no actual, actual proof of it. Yeah, yeah, she's on her own here. And they got this info from Warren by putting Arata Han back on him Damn and it. using it to compel him to tell the truth about what Verna was.